It looks like tape, and in a way, it is tape. Okay, schauen wir uns dann von der anderen Seite an. Just not any kind of tape. Actually, this is a superconductor. It's very thin layer here, and it can carry enormous amount of current. And that's the miracle of the superconductors and what they can do. The superconductor, developed at the Tiva Superconductor Factory just outside of Munich in Germany, is an important element of the very ambitious EcoSwing project a project between nine international partners and receiving funds by a grant agreement from the European Commission. The ambition here is to develop a superconducting generator and put that into a wind turbine and keep it operating in a wind turbine environment to prove this technology is not just uh, science fiction, it's actually something that is here now and it can be applied. Superconductors, they can carry large amounts of uh, current in a very compact, in a very power-dense manner. And that's an interesting proposition if you want to build compact, lightweight and low-cost generators. Jürgen Keller's company Eco5 has designed the generator that will incorporate the superconducting tape from Tiva, a generator that will be up to 40% smaller than conventional generators, saving crucial weight in the turbine nacelle. Uh, we have a copper block here which conducts 800 amps. And this is a superconductor, which carries the same amount of, uh, of current. The generator now under development will be mounted here, in Envision Energy's revolutionary GC1 prototype, a 3.6 megawatt direct drive wind turbine on the west coast of Denmark. And the aim is clear. We can get a very power dense design. We, we are able to reduce the mass of the generator, which is key for wind turbines. So in the longer run, we are aiming to bring down cost of energy. That is the purpose of why we're doing this. Our EcoSwing project, the IC, is here. It's 360 amps. So it's way beyond. Way beyond. Yeah. Envision Energy, Eco5 and Tiva are three of the partners in the EcoSwing consortium, which is receiving support from the European Union and is moving superconductivity out of the lab. Now we are at the stage where we can industrialize this process we can build these machines and we are actually um, working now on 24 hours, five days a week, producing this tape. According to CEO Lei Chang, who founded Envision Energy only eight years ago, it's no coincidence that his company is the first turbine manufacturer to install a superconductor in a turbine. The world needs someone, some company, to take such bold action, to take the lead. So we have such a willpower to drive the progress. So that's the difference. We are not a bureaucratic big organization. We are an inno innovative company to take the lead for the future energy revolution. Back in Munich, the superconducting tape is wound in large coils like this and sent to one of the other consortium partners, the University of Twente in the Netherlands. Here, in this purpose-built sphere, every coil is cooled down to minus 240 degrees Celsius and tested to ensure that they meet all specifications at the operating temperature close to the absolute zero. What is in there now for the moment, you hear the sound of the, the stamping sound. These are the cooling machines, which are these, these big cooling blocks here at the bottom. They're the same type of cooling blocks that, uh, as the ones we will use uh, in the rotor, actually. So they cool down this, this coil with these cables. Then once the coils are cooled, cooled down, we can pass a, a high current through them, about 500 amps. And then we can test whether the coil behaves as we expected. When all 40 coils have been tested, the next step is to assemble the superconducting generator at Germont Electric in France, another of the partners in the EcoSwing consortium. The cryocoolers are supplied by Sumitomo, power converters by Delta, ground testing of the finalized generator will be performed at Evers in Bremerhaven, and the project will be followed by DNVGL as a basis for later certification. The perspectives of the project are wide-reaching. In 10 years from now, we're expecting that we see a lot of superconducting technology out there. In, in conventional machines, in, con in cables uh, used throughout the world. So when the finalized generator is mounted here in Denmark in 2017, it will be the result of a huge team effort. In this consortium, we have 
all the world's leading experts in superconductivity and also auxiliaries and all sitting around the same desk in order to develop and bring this generator into the, into the world. This is really extraordinary. Stay tuned for more update videos when the generator starts to take form. Thank you.